Beautiful animation, super nice, I love it. How good does this look? That This is not easy to create. I don't know how to create this personally without AI. I mean, guys, this is beautiful. What can I say? What can I say? All right, so last week I made a video showing you how to use Opus 4.5 skills in order to get some crazy good front end. This was a one shot. I did one prompt and this is what I ended up with. Now, that being said, I could design a crazy good front end. That's all well and good. But something that takes websites to the next level that I myself absolutely suck at designing or developing is micro interactions. And if you're looking at my screen right now, you can see this tweet that I made that says Opus 4.5 is so good at micro interactions. Guys, I cannot stress this enough to you. These micro interactions here, Opus 4.5 came up with the idea for it, designed it, and then made it work on the site. And so what I wanna do in this video, this isn't really a tutorial. This is more me telling you, go ahead and do this because it's gonna change your life. To me, this is what makes a good website a great website. And up until now, anytime I ask AI to do something like this, it sucks horribly. But with Opus 4.5 in the front end design skill, it absolutely isn't. So we have this site right here that I one-shotted, believe me, I one-shotted this, with the Opus 4.5 in front end design skill. You can see it is a lovely looking site, but it's just a good site. You know, it's not a great site. And so what I wanna do is build some micro interactions. I think a good candidate is over here, this strategy, branding, digital, and growth cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and prompt it to turn these into some beautiful micro interactions. I don't even know what I want them to look like, but I can promise you it is going to make this so, so nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and write up my prompt. First things first, I already have the front end design skill installed. If you don't know how to do that, go to the link in the description. I have a video that will show you how to do that. And along with that, I've actually told it to install Framer Motion. So Framer Motion, as far as I'm aware, is like an open source library for animations. All I know is that if you use Framer Motion, it is gonna be so much better. So all you need to do is tell Claude to install Framer Motion. Now I'm gonna give it my prompt and tell it to add some nice micro interactions to each one of these cards. And let's see what it gives us. All right, so when it comes to anything like this that isn't straightforward, my recommendation to you is shift tab, put it in plan mode, that way it's actually going to come back and say, hey, I've thought about it, here's what I'm gonna do. Just because sometimes it comes up with an idea that sucks. So this way you can kind of stop it from right off the bat. So anyways, I'm gonna click enter a whole bunch of times and then we're gonna see the plan that it came up with in order to build out these micro interactions. All right, so it did its plan and it came back to me with some questions. What level of animation intensity are you looking for for the service card? So subtle and refined. Gentle hover effects, soft blows, minimal movement, professional and understated, okay. Bold and dynamic or balanced. Let's go ahead and see the other questions in here before I go ahead and make assumptions on what it's asking. Unique per card, consistent all across. Some ideas of things that we want. Okay, so what I wanna make clear to it is that I don't just want some like hover effects. I want it to add some cool animations inside of the card to help get the point across. Something that's like constantly moving, so I'm gonna type that up. Okay, there we go, so I wrote that up. I'm gonna say I want it unique per card. What are most important to me? 3D magnetic tilt, animated icons, glowing borders, all of the above. I'm just gonna write here nothing specific. Submit that. Didn't get this answer correct. There we go, okay, now there's a check mark on it. I find that experience very weird. So, okay, anyways, submit answers and let's see what it's going to come up with. All right, so it made something and it is a wonderful start. Okay, so take a look at this. First things first, we have our strategy card, which is probably my favorite. You hover over it and it shows this little like graph and these things rising. Beautiful animation, super nice, I love it. Then you have branding and I do like it quite a bit. It's kind of interesting because you look at it and it's like, what is that? And then you see this. What I don't like is it, it's kind of like stuck behind, like it doesn't fit into the card well. This one fits into the card perfectly with the text. Then you have digital over here, which again, looks absolutely amazing. I think it could fit into the card a little bit better. Okay, so then over here you have growth and it's kind of weird with this little thing behind it, but really cool animation. Okay, so. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let it know to use the Playwright MCP. If you don't know what the Playwright MCP is, we have another video telling you what that is and how to set it up. Basically, it allows AI to like self debug. So I'm gonna let it know I really like the direction that you're heading in, but they don't fit into the cards 
properly and they don't really feel even. So I'm gonna let it know that and let's see what it comes up with. All right, there we go. So it worked on them. And this really mirrors how I've actually been working on this in my own workflow, which is I tell it to come up with something. If I like the general direction that it's heading in, I just reiterate, reiterate, reiterate until it gives me something nice. So what we have here, it does need a little bit more work so that it still doesn't interfere with the cards, but it did do a huge, huge improvement. As we can see, let's go ahead and start with our strategy card. I mean, that's beautiful. Problems that it has. One, this still overlaps, and two, this 47% thing kind of hangs off the screen. Animation itself, beautiful. Creative direction, I love it. Branding over here. Guys, I mean, this. how good does this look? How good does this look? This is not easy to create. I don't know how to create this personally without AI. Again, it overlaps with the text, so that needs to be fixed. Then we have digital here. This looks super good as well. And then finally, we have this growth animation over here. No more overlapping. This little star thing just pops in. I mean, guys, this is beautiful. What can I say? What can I say? And what you should expect is something similar to what you watched in this video. Like I said, you're going to have it do something. You may get an ugly animation like once or twice, then you just tell it to come up with something new. Then once you like the overall direction, you're going to have to tell it, use screenshots, playwright, MCP, whatever, to let it know what it needs to do in order to fix it. Refine, refine, refine. And you will end up with some beautiful micro interactions on your website. Guys, I actually have not seen anything this good ever. I'm so excited for this because one of the biggest blockers in my entire career to getting these gorgeous websites has been these micro interactions. I don't do them and the client, the company, whatever, does not necessarily have the budget or even the desire to get something like this. So the fact that I can now do this with a little bit of prompting is going to take my websites to the next level. I hope it's going to do the same for you. And I hope this video is a wake up call of sorts to the fact that, yeah, this is possible now. So anyways, that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next one and have a great day.